All right, the next uh, part we're gonna to talk to you a little bit about now is one of the three, I think, big challenges that face a marriage. And this one is time management. It's prioritizing uh, your marriage. So sometimes uh, in guy world anyway, I know we can be so good at scheduling our day or scheduling our work, scheduling practices. Um, but when it comes time to scheduling stuff at home or with your, with your wife, it just doesn't happen. So, and that's not good. So you're not going to just slide into a good marriage. You're not going to just drift into one, just like your team isn't going to just drift into a state championship team. You gotta, you gotta put some work into it. So, mm -hmm. so managing the time is super key. So one of the best piece of advice we have gotten and that we give is the whole concept of a date night, like a time during your week where it's you and your spouse are getting time together. Uh, if you got kids, you're getting a sitter. If you can't afford a sitter, you're finding another couple that's got kids your age and you're taking turns watching each other's kids. But you need to know there's a time in your week that it's just the two of you talking and catching up, mm -hmm. so. And then I think it's not necessarily just a time for you guys to actually veg out, which is probably what you are gonna, or like what we feel like sometimes, but we don't even take turns maybe planning it. And planning it could just be a list of questions we got off the internet, honestly. But it's something that just like, this is purposeful. It's not just time together where we're kind of lifeless and tired together. Although that might happen sometimes, but in general, you're trying to make something that helps you guys get to know each other better and become closer. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like continuing to date each other, just like you did when you were getting to know each other before you got married. I keep spending time being creative. Um, one of the lines I like to use um, with, husband, with premarital counseling is you want to be a PhD in your spouse. Like you want to learn more and more about them. So just asking good questions, um, spending time together is is really important. And I know sometimes in husband world, guy world, um, I, I just need to encourage you with two things on this. Like one is, I think that the better you do as a husband, it's gonna help you as a coach. It's gonna help you in, in your job too. If you're learning to be a good listener, if you're being humble with your time, um, it helps you. Like sometimes you think, oh, this is distracting me from, it doesn't, it helps you. And the second one is this, like this calling to be a husband is a huge one. And so wherever you're coaching now, like when you're done, they're gonna hire another coach and that coach will just go on and do the thing. But like you signed up for marriage for life, like there isn't another plan B here, or if you've got kids, like uh, you wanna make sure you're investing the time uh, that you need to invest here, so. Yeah. So sometimes it might just mentally be saying, you know what, I am gonna try to look a little better. I'm gonna try to have a little more energy. I'm gonna really invest in this family time and not just come home and be done with the day. Yeah, not just show up. So really investing in it, but scheduling your time. One other thing we do at the beginning of a week is we try to look ahead at the week and say, okay, what do you need this week? Like, where are you really busy this week? How can I help you? Um, so just planning your time better and making sure there's just good time that you're, you're setting uh, for each other. Yeah, so. and then you know how to pray for each other and what's coming up. All right.